Good morning, everybody. This is where we went to bed last night, and this is where we woke up this morning. We're in Crook, Colorado. I'm excited. I haven't been in Colorado in who knows how long. We're on our way down to Tonopah, Arizona. I still hope I'm pronouncing that right. If not, I apologize for this and all of the previous mistakes and all of the future mistakes because I'm probably going to keep pronouncing it like that until somebody corrects me. And I don't post these videos till later. So we're going with Tonopa. Tonopa, Arizona. <laughs> storm warning in the mountains of Colorado, so we're going to be avoiding that, not going through I-70. We're going south down the uh, east side of Colorado, where we're going to enter into New Mexico and go through Albuquerque into Phoenix that way. Though I did see on Google Maps that I-40 is closed right now. I looked it up a little bit. I think that there was a train derailment around that area. Google says it'll be open by tomorrow, and I think that's when we'll be going through there. But just in case, I've found a, uh, like a detour route that I can go around that yet, but we'll still be going through New Mexico to avoid the snowstorm in the mountains of Colorado. I don't want to get stuck up there in the snow. There's no point in even risking that. So, uh, how long has it been since I've been to New Mexico? I can't even remember. It's gonna be fun. I apologize for the wind noise. I'm trying to stay on this side of the truck because the wind is coming from that way. And that is north, so that is good because we're going south. That is the I-76 there, I believe. Yes, I-76. I believe we're going up to US-71 or uh, Colorado-71. I'm gonna go that way. And the wind will be in our sails, pushing us south towards New Mexico. The terrain has already changed quite a bit. I didn't see this last night because it was dark when I got here. Oh, all right, let's get going. Lights on. It's still wet outside, so I still haven't been able to wash Old Blue. Uh, so maybe later down there in Colorado or New Mexico, maybe it'll get a little better. Let's just make sure that my eyes didn't lie to me. It, my eyes told me that the trailer was attached. I just do a little tug test every morning. Canadian company right there. They're like from the East Coast, I think. They're a long way from home, bud. How's it going, eh? My fellow Canuck all the way down here in Colorado. What do you know? How do I get out of here? This is a really nice truck stop, actually. It's like a, an old school Ma and Pa truck stop. It's not one of the big chains. Uh, Sinclair. What is this again? Exit. Is it 107? No. It's in uh, Crook, Colorado, anyway. Just south of Crook, Colorado, on the I-76. Got a nice convenience store in there.
0.2 miles to left on Williams Avenue and then approaching destination on the left side in 910 feet. We're here in Lehman or Lyman, Colorado, on the east side of the state, pulling into the Flying J. This is the cheapest fuel on my route today. Been doing incredible fuel economy all the way down. From Grand Forks to here, Grand Forks, North Dakota, all the way down here into Colorado, I burned. Destination in 800 feet on the left side. I burned a little over half tanks. So it's been it's been a really good trip. It's a beautiful sunny day. I think I'm gonna go for a walk from here. Side, have a shower and then continue down towards New Mexico after that. But first we're gonna grab fuel. You have arrived at your destination on the left side, 2495 Williams Avenue. Lehman or Lyman? L-I-M-O-N, Colorado. Came over here, found a parking spot. Just putting the numbers together right now, we did do really good. So from Grand Forks, North Dakota to Lyman, Colorado was 935 miles, 1,506 kilometers. Uh, I put in 507 liters or 134 gallons, and that equals 6.99 miles per gallon US. So seven miles per gallon with the W900. Uh, 33.68 liters per 100 kilometers. That is really good. Really good. I'm really happy with that. We're above average. That cost me 40 cents a kilometer to drive here or 65 cents a mile. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I can't share with you what my rates are on my loads. That's personal, confidential. Obviously, I can't go and tell you what exactly what the rates are. Yeah, to the internet here. <laughs> you don't exactly want to be going, giving everybody else a number that they can undercut, right? <laughs> but uh, I'll, I'll just say I'm really happy. I got a really good rate on the way down here. I'm sitting really happy on that. And now that we're doing so good on fuel, that's an extra bonus. We're doing really good. This will make up for that, uh, hopefully make up for some of that week off and those repairs. Because I had a week off, over a week, while I was waiting for that fuel tank to be repaired this month, right? So I lost a lot of revenue during that time, plus the cost. It was like $1,500 for the repair. Everything said and done with the transmission lines too. So I won't probably won't make all of that back, but at least, you know, I can end the month off with a bang. I'm gonna be delivering this on uh, April 30th. So I can tack that into April revenue and uh, that'll bump up my numbers right at the end of the month so that I'm not like running in the red. I should be able to break even at least. So that's good, that's good. And hopefully next month there are less repairs so that we can maybe get into the green. That would be awesome. Uh, that's, a, that's like you don't got to worry about us or anything. All our bills are paid. But after the bills are paid, I like to have a nice little chunk of change that you can put away or put towards debt or something. And when you have big repairs like this in the month, that just gets eaten up. And if I wouldn't have had this right at the end of the month, I, I probably would have been in the red for April. I would have had to make up for it in May. Like after paying bills, all the bills would be paid, but in the red for other things in the truck. So yeah, I'm happy. That, that's We're doing really good so far. So now I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm feeling really good. Let's get a three mile walk in. And I'm gonna go in here, have a shower. Clean my myself up a bit, cut my hair. It's getting kind of long again, right? Trim my beard so that when I show up at my customer day after tomorrow, I can look sharp. And we want to find a blue beacon truck wash along the way somewhere as well so we can show up with a clean truck and uh, clean appearance. There's the building. I'm gonna get out here and enjoy this beautiful day. Lots of these trees blooming here now. There's another one over there. A whole bunch behind me. Makes the whole town smell really nice. Look at these trees, they're starting to turn green. I wonder if by the time I get home, that some of our trees will have 
started to turn green. That might be a little too hopeful. But maybe. Nice little town here. You can definitely tell the terrain and geography is a little different. It's a lot drier here, but it's nice. Perfect temperature right now. So I've already walked for a mile and a half. No, 1.2 miles. I'm gonna walk till 1.73 in this direction. Then I'm gonna turn around and go back. That should bring me back to the truck in just over three miles. There's another one of those blooming trees. I wonder what they're called. They smell really good though right now. back walked 3.06 miles 5,939 steps burned 405 calories and it took me 53 minutes so we were quicker than yesterday Whew. okay I'm gonna run in and have a shower I might run into IHOP there yet I know just went for a walk and then go shove pancakes in my face isn't exactly the best look but Hey, at least I went for a walk so I can roar myself with pancakes. Better than just going to get pancakes and not go for a walk, right? Oh, worth it. So worth it. All right, there's old Blue sitting right there. Looks like a low rider between all those Volvos and Cascadias. Yikes. One lonely Kenworth. We're surrounded. Let's get out of here. IHOP has got like the best pancakes. Oh, I'm still drooling and spitting. Sorry. Oh, I could have ordered more, but I had to stop myself. It was tough <laughs> to give them money and run out of there. Man, that was good. That omelet too. Hmm. Be thinking about that for days. <laughs> Good thing we went on a walk yesterday and today. All right, Blue. Let's get out there. We used up all of our break time now. We're gonna have to run hard the rest of the day. Seven hundred feet. Turn left on I seventy to Allen Man. Turn right in zero point nine miles. Well, the rest of the day is gonna be running pretty hard. But it was worth it. Had a good walk, had a good meal, had a good shower. Feeling good, the sun is shining. Trees 
are green here. Slowly that green line is going to make it north. Hopefully very soon. I'd love to take it with me when I go back home. Are there palm trees in Arizona? There is, right? In the desert, New Mexico, there's got to be palm trees there. I hope so. I mean, I've been looking forward to seeing them this whole trip. And this big tree off on the right. Wow. I wonder how old it is. The trees grow so much bigger in the U.S. than they do on the prairies in Canada. I think, it, I think it's because of the growing seasons. They're a lot longer here. Like the same trees, they're just really big. As soon as you get down like to like Iowa, Illinois. Down here especially too, I'm guessing their growing season would be a lot, a lot longer. I mean, they're already green, obviously, so trees back home aren't green yet. We're getting very close to the border with New Mexico. This is pretty neat. here. <laughs> it's nice for me. Oh, Trinidad. That's what this is. I think that's what this town is called. Trinidad, Colorado. I saw signs for it before. It must be where we are. This guy is taking up two lanes. He's in the turning lane, but he's also in the through lane. Sometimes I'll take like 40 bucks and go play some slots, see what happens, but not tonight. Though it would be kind of cool because it'd be like a special occasion, right? Not like I'm through New Mexico all the time. Might as well go through, throw a few bucks in the slots, but nah. I don't got any money for that right now. So this is Road 66 Travel Plaza, exit 140, Interstate 40, New Mexico, west of Albuquerque. There's two of these. Uh, this is the eastern more, most one. Another half hour west is another one according to the map. I'm seeing lots of parking here already. Just off to my left. I'm just gonna go do a quick loop of the parking lot and try to get my bearings here. I've never been to this place obviously, so I wanna make sure I get the best spot possible. Fuel pumps off to the right. I don't need to grab fuel. Got all this parking off over here. Wow. Wow. Let's go do a loop. Let's see what happens. Nicely lit. 
perfect and everything. From the reviews that I read online, I see what they meant. They said in the reviews a lot, uh, a lot of people were saying that it's lots of parking, but unfortunately, it's pretty much all blindside backing in because it's all angled. They should have angled it the other way so that you don't have to blindside it into these spots. But as you can see, there's plenty of spots available here, so it's not that big a deal. I'm gonna pull through one of these pull-throughs. Go do a loop first. I want to see this whole place. Circle a lot a few times like a dog before I lay down to rest, you know? Gotta make sure I get the best spot. This guy parked all by himself all the way at the back. Should I pull up right beside him and make him think I'm make him think I'm gonna park right beside him? <laughs> parked all the way back here to be alone, then I come in right after he parks. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. You can have your quiet spot. I'm just doing a loop. <laughs> I'm tired. Uh, I think I'm funnier than I am. I am tired. This is a really nice parking lot though. There's my load. It's all still there. I park myself here, right beneath the light. Just gonna do a walk around. Make sure my rear end's not sticking out too far here. It might be. Oh, actually it is. Oh boy. It definitely is. Okay, this is why you come out and check, right? I'm definitely hanging out. Where am I? Where's the end of the lines here? End of the lines are right about here. You can see them here. Yeah, I could probably move up a little bit. I'll move up and get my get myself out of everyone's way. Just a bit. Ugh, actually changed my mind again. I'm gonna back into that spot. Right over there beside that light pole. Then I'm definitely out of everyone's way. And those cement barriers at the bottom there will protect the front of my truck from getting hit and stuff. This guy's got a pretty nice sleeper on his truck right beside me here. Yeah, we were just parked right underneath that light right there. I turned around, backed in here, because now I know no one's gonna bump into me. And I don't have any neighbors on this side. I put a lot of thought and effort into where I park. <laughs> I overthink it. Now the front of my truck is protected by these cement barriers. And my entire truck in general. If you guys saw that clip of that uh, driver who got hit in that rest area in Georgia, I think it was. I don't know what happened there, but he was sleeping in his truck and he got killed because somebody came like flying in and just ran straight into the side of his truck. It's terrible. So I always like to find spots where that could never happen to me. Like this. I'm ready to go to bed. It's probably like two in the morning. Let's see, what time is it? Oh, I'm tired. Oh, okay, I'm getting old, getting in here. Oh. Oh, it's, yeah, quarter to two in the morning here, mountain time, quarter to three in the morning back home in central time. So, yeah, bed is looking awfully comfortable and inviting right now. Thanks for hanging out with me today, everybody. We started off in, uh, oh, where did we start off? In Colorado, right? Crook, Colorado, Crooks, Colorado, right? And we drove all the way down here to Albuquerque, New Mexico. One more day left in this trip to Arizona. Tomorrow we go from here, I got about another 500 miles left, or 800 kilometers. 
from Albuquerque past Phoenix to Tonopa, Arizona. And then there's a pilot truck stop right there at Tonopa, right off the freeway. That's where I'm going to be spending the night. Oh, man, I'm tired. So thanks again, everybody. If you did like the video, if you like all the scenery, if you're from around here, or if you just like the videos in general, the like button is the best way to support me, along with a comment down below. That way the algorithm spreads it to more people. If you want to go one step further, you can click the Join Now button. Become a premium member, you get early access to the videos. You can read more about that if you click the button down below. That's up to you. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Take care. Keep your stick on the ice. Drive safe out there.